let's see how we can analyze the sales funnel by cohorts. There are three main approaches in which you can use the cohort analysis. So the first way we have discussed in the previous lecture, it's just mapping the KPI behavior in time by cohorts. The second approach that we'll try to discuss in this lecture, it's about mapping the KPI rather by stages of the sales funnel and cohorts. And the final thing we can do is to compare a specific KPI for cohort with uh, the average for the whole population. The first approach, so mapping the KPI in time by cohorts, we have discussed in the previous lecture. So now let's concentrate on the second approach. In other words, mapping the KPI by stages and cohorts. So first we have to name the, the stages of the sales process, then look at the cohorts and obviously pick the KPI and measure it by stages and cohorts. And to show you how it works in practice, let's have a look at an example. So here we have the sales funnel of a consulting firm selling directly to customers. So the first stage is when we qualify the leads, then we create demand, negotiate the contract, sign the contract and upsell. And as we said, we have to pick a KPI. So let's assume that for the time being, this is the conversion rate for each and every stage. And here as a cohort, we will have industries. So the first one is retail industry, and we can see how the conversion rate looks like for each and every stage. Then we have a health industry, financial industry, and technology. As you can see, we can observe here the difference in conversion rates by stages. It's pretty obvious that there is something happening in the technology because we have a much higher conversion rates when it comes to creating demand and negotiating the contracts as well as assigning the contract. This would suggest that either we have a very good product for this industry or the person who is responsible for this industry is doing it in a totally different way. But as you can see, this sort of approach by cohorts helps you identify differences and on the basis of that, try to find the reason behind that and improve the, the process or the product for other industries as well. There's also something interesting happening when it comes to health industry and financial industry. We are much better in qualifying the leads. Maybe they have a, some sort of a tool that can be copied for other industries as well. Now, as we said, this sort of analysis, cohort analysis, you can present not only in the, such a form of a map, but actually also in the form of a chart. So we're going to try to present this in two different ways. So here you have a line chart with the conversion rates on the left. The very same thing you can do with uh, simply putting the conversion rates on the chart. And finally, we can show it in the form of a column chart. Every color is different industry. And here on the axis, we've got stages. So that's in short when it comes to cohort analysis. Let's have a look how we can use it in practice. So let's go to a case study. 